Kyle, I'm calling today uh, about DEI. Republicans are using DEI as a slur. Yeah. And I'm calling in defense of DEI for two related points. First, Kamala Harris was chosen as the DEI candidate for VP, both because as a DEI candidate, she was fully qualified for the job. And second, because she was a black woman, two constituencies important to Biden's election and our nation. DEI is good for everybody, and I don't think we should back away from it. Now, the second point is the dead name Shillbilly running for VP said in his book that he couldn't afford to go to Yale without the college's largesse. They paid the full first year of his college, Mm -hmm. and I'll bet you that he used uh, DEI reasoning on his application. Yes, I am a poor, uh, you know, poor downtrodden minority from Appalachia. Uh, I get it. Exactly. Yeah, but Bob, let let me, Nate, Nate, uh, we've got uh, a video clip of a woman who grew up in Appalachia, has spent, you know, 40 some odd years of her life in Appalachia, and uh, has some thoughts on DEI and uh, a white woman. And uh, just want to share it with you, Bob, since you brought this up, uh, here it is. Okay, listen to me. As for me and mine, we are gonna serve the Lord and we are gonna choose the DEI candidate and the DEI hire at every opportunity. And here is why. I have lived on this planet as a white woman in Appalachia all 44 years of it. And I've also had the good sense, maybe it's the Appalachian in me, I don't know, uh, to keep my mouth shut and my ears open when my black and brown friends and family are talking. And here is what I've learned through my own life experience and having the benefit of listening and absorbing the life experiences of other people. I have seen far too many mediocre white men wearing loafers without socks and failing upwards, okay? Getting jobs because of who their daddy knows. Getting elected to Congress because of their white face and their lack of qualifications, Tim Burchett. And so I do recognize that the conservative party is trying to start using DEI as a buzzword instead of the word they really want to say. But all I hear is twice as exceptional because for black and brown people, they don't get to fail upwards. They don't get to be hired because of who their daddy knows. They don't get second chances and they don't get the benefit of the doubt. So they have to be twice as exceptional to even get a passing glance at their resume. They have to be twice as qualified. So when I hear DEI, I hear twice as qualified. There you go. What do you think, Bob? Uh, I agree with that. I, I sympathize, and but DEI is not just about race. Oh, I know. In fact, women, white women are the principal beneficiaries of DEI programs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tom, I'll just close with... But white women, uh, women, but even white women also face these same or similar obstacles. Obviously not the same, and it's nowhere near as bad as for black women and black people in general. But yeah. Anyhow, back to you, Bob. I I I think I want to close with bootstrapping is a myth, and DEI just provides people opportunities. The shillbilly did not pull himself up by his bootstraps. And let's not fall into the idea that DEI is in any way disreputable. Yeah, that's and 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 his real name is James Donald Bowman. That's <laughs> anyhow, Bob. Thanks, thanks a lot for the call.